Oh. <laughs> well, 80 million is far short of the 230 you asked for. So really, what do you think of that amount? I think today's a, a great day for anyone that uh, is wanting uh, a brand new uh, entertainment facility built in Regina. Uh, it's $80 million more today than we had yesterday. Uh, so I don't, I, I don't like using um, uh, football uh, terminology. Uh, we, were, we, were, we were just talking about, we hit a home run or scored a goal, but I mean, it's, it's football. Uh, we've moved, uh, I think that it's, it's safe to say that we're, we're uh, just about uh, to score a touchdown. But where would you get the other 150 mil from? Okay. Uh, first of all, we just got the, uh, I just got the uh, information this morning, uh, the news this morning. And uh, as you know, this just doesn't happen overnight. There's lots of negotiations going on back and forth. So um, we know that there's $80 million there. We also know that there's uh, the possibility of additional funding, as, as the minister uh, spoke to you about. Uh, so we're going to continue along that, that path. We know that also the riders are going to be making a contribution. Uh, but I think what's really important here is indeed the fact that um, we have never stopped uh, planning for a new facility. So we're far, uh, a lot farther ahead than, uh, than I think a lot of people might think. Uh, we, we, aren't, we weren't waiting for the province to come back with, with uh, a response and then get the ball moving. We, we've, we've been moving this uh, quite aggressively. And um, I think that uh, you know our, our intent has always been to ensure that uh, the principles of protecting our, our, our property taxpayers is very, very important on this. Um, so that's one principle that we've, we've certainly followed. Um, uh, consequently, you look at uh, a user pay uh, system uh, for the facility, which will certainly help pay, uh, pay for that over the course of, course of uh, over the next number of years. So all in all, as I said, I think that uh, but this is a good news story. This is this is this is great, and we look forward now to meeting with the province again, and uh, the Saskatchewan Rough Riders, and um, seeing what's next. But just about to score a touchdown is not a touchdown. So does this change then your game plan moving forward in terms of how much you have to get from the private sector now? Not at all. We're we're going ahead as 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 I've said before. Um, we're going to continue to to work with our partners today. And, uh, and I would suggest to you that uh, we want to have this thing all wrapped up by the end of July. Does it make um, a difference to say that you have now 80 million when you go forward in negotiations with other parties? Well, it's more than 80 million. I think we have to also uh, recognize that the City of Regina uh, Council has made a decision to contribute as well. We're looking at contributing around $60 million as well. Um, so we're at about 140 million uh, already. Uh, and uh, as I said, I think that uh, there's no question uh, in respect to the private sector, and there's many ways in which the private sector can contribute. But their, for, their question always is going to be, what have you got so far? But despite all of that, I think it's important to, to recognize that, that um, we do have uh, uh, funding from the province that we didn't have yesterday, and uh, we're, we're moving ahead. Um, and there's obviously another requirement the province asked for is that when we build this, um, have it roof ready. Uh, either have a roof on it or uh, later on uh, we can add a roof to, to that facility. So we do, know, we do know that the design that we have so far and, and, and uh, we're hoping to have a rendition of what, we, what, what, what we've been working on uh, available in the next couple of weeks actually. But it is a, a spectator um, covered facility and it's similar to what you've seen um, in the, in the Euro Cup. Euro, Euro Cup, some of the new facilities where the entire facility is enclosed and the spectator area of the, of the uh, facility is enclosed and the only uh, piece that's open is actually the field portion. portion. Um, having said that, um, you know, we'll see how much money is going to be available to us and adjust accordingly as far as the facility is concerned. You said wrapped up by still. the end of July. What, is, what do you mean in that? In we we want to have our funding, all of our funding in place by the end of July. Do you have corporate sponsors? Uh, at, at again, we'll, we'll, we'll provide all of those details down the road. Is everything going ahead on schedule or does this push it back a little bit? Oh, not at all. We, we, we've said that we want to start construction in, in 2013 and the timelines that we have in place and those are well-documented timelines. Um, we're, we're, we're right on schedule. So the design that you have for the stadium involves a, a roof option? What well, what we're hearing from the province is uh, they want to have an option uh, to have it roof ready. So whether it's now or down the road. So you will adapt the current design to that, that Absolutely. Okay. If those are the conditions, we'll be more than happy to adapt that condition. Is that you possible or do you have to go back and change the plans and would that change the cost? Um, 
as I said, um, we will work with, with uh, the team to see what can be done and what can't be done. It's really important to recognize um, that uh, we will adjust the project to the dollars that are available to us, and that, that's really, really important. You seem like Lawn Calvert portrait smiley today for someone <laughs> who's only got a portion of what they asked for. Do you, yeah. If you're saying even a timeline as quickly as four weeks away, uh, uh, is there information you have that maybe would indicate to you this thing's a go now, or you're just not telling us? <laughs> I would never do that to you. Really? But I can, <laughs> I can, I can, I can tell you this. Um, yesterday, uh, we didn't have $80 million. Today, we have $80 million. We also have a commitment from, from the minister that um, they're prepared to look at other options as well, which is important. So, you know, um, uh, I think that um, this, this facility um, is a very important one for Saskatchewan, not just for Regina, but for, for our entire province. And I think there was, if there was ever a time that we should go ahead with this, uh, today is it. Um, and again, it goes beyond just uh, a football stadium. I know that everybody wants to focus on that. But this really uh, gets the ball rolling uh, on the 15-year plan that we had presented that Council had approved in respect to the demolition of Mosaic Stadium, what's going to happen on those properties in respect to a brand new neighborhood, as well as uh, the, uh, the CP lands that we're uh, negotiating to purchase as well. So this is much bigger than just an investment uh, in a new stadium. This is a much bigger inner city inner city redevelopment, which we sometimes, I think, forget about. I know that everyone wants to focus on the stadium, but, you know, my job is to bring everybody back to reality here. And let's take, take a step back and talk about what it means for the development of our inner city, one of the largest inner city redevelopments in the history of our city. That the province has said, kibosh that plan, we're not giving you money for. How does that prevent your people? Well, I, uh, they, haven't, they, haven't, they haven't said that. So I think it's important right now that we, we focus on what we are working on. And, and I can tell you this, um, this is the right thing to do. And our council is behind it 100%. We got a commitment from the province. Um, there are so many moving parts to this, as I've always said, uh, and I know the one that's most visible, and especially that it's you know the game open, the season opener when it's tomorrow night. Um, everyone's thinking football, but um, yes, we can think football. But our job as, a, as an elected group of officials is, is to go beyond just a football stadium. You, so you were talking about the plan being. Uh, you're talking about the end of July. You could see a plan. Are we also talking about the other developments? The first one is indeed. The, you know, you can't demolish a stadium unless, unless you have a new one built. So our first one is to get everything set in place for the new facility, and then we can start working our way around the others. Well, you and I have talked to... guarantees, would you be asking? Pardon me? There, there was a uh, part of it was loan guarantees. Yeah, so we're going to... That might mean later. Well, we're going we're gonna to have those discussions, but I think it's, it, there, there's something else here that, that is really important for us, a key principle for City Council. Uh, as you know, um, we are looking at a number of major infrastructure projects uh, in our city. And um, uh, it's really important that the funding that we receive from the province um, does not interfere with our ability to borrow additional money for other infrastructure proje projects. So we cannot have this money go against our, our, our debt limit. Um, and that's very, very important. So that's another uh, key principle as we go forward in these discussions. You and I have talked about public-private partnerships, mm -hmm. and you said the one problem with that is you have to pay it back. Mm -hmm. Would it be easier to go forward with the remainder of the money with a, a partnership like that if you're only paying back, say, $90 million or even $50 million rather than 230 Well, I think the key here is, is there's a number, of, a number of things. First of all, um, you know, who is that private partner? How many of them are there? And, 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 and I mean, there's so many, as I said, moving parts to, to, to this, whole, uh, this whole redevelopment. So to get into the details right now, um, um, I, I'm not gonna do that. Uh, right now, our objective is to get the funding in place, ensure that our taxpayers are protected. Um, again, a key principle there, and also ensure that uh, this money that we're receiving does not go towards uh, our uh, borrowing capacity for our other infrastructure projects that we have. It sounds like you just